Okay, guys. Here's what we got. Got two boxes from Amazon. Including this big old box right here. Look at the size of this thing. Overnight from the mainland to Hawaii. Let's open it up, see what's in there, huh? Sorry about this, I've never actually done this before, so. See if we can get a good angle on this. Let's open this thing up. I don't even know what's in here, because. This is a first for me. I've never actually done a live unboxing of something. Let's see what happens here. Paper. Need help? Please call us. Sanitec. Wow, they got all kinds of stuff in here. Let's see here, we got one box. We got another box. Another box. And another big ass box. Let's see what's in the other box, huh? First box. Got a shifter. We got Club Sport, Fanatec, Club Sport, EQ, shifter. So that's the first thing we got. Oops. I just realized I got a freaking lamp post in the way. Can I move you to a better position? There we go. So we got the shifter, right? What should we open up first? Let's do this one? Yeah? Looks like this is a steering wheel. Fanatec. Yeah, it comes in a nice bag. No packing of material or anything though. Just unbox everything and then we'll look at everything. going on here we got oh this one they really packaged tight got the Xbox one club sport fanatec hub Let's see what we got here. Hello. Look at that. It says hello. <laughs> oh god, this thing's heavy. It comes out of the box. Got the 
Club Sport version 2.5 racing base. The hub base. Look at that thing. I'm excited. This is gonna be good. This must be the pedals. What well, hope? We got the Club Sport pedals. The difference. Those things are heavy. That's what we got going on here. Got the Fanatec Club Sport version 3 pedals. Feel the difference is what it says. Take a look at this here. Got the, the wheel, the shifter, the hub, the pedals, and the base. What should we open first? So we open the base? Can't do anything without the base, right? Let's open the base, huh? Okay, so just uh, answering a message here. I'll be right back in there. Okay, so let's open this thing up, huh? So what we got going on here is we got the Club Sport version 2.5 platform. So it says, hello, realism. Goodbye, toys. <laughs> Isn't that cool? You put a lot of extra effort into these things. We got a quick start guide. We got some drilling templates for mounting it to whatever rig you're going to mount it to. And some more drilling templates. We got some cables. We got a nice heavy duty USB cable, a power cable, 
And it looks like an RJ telephone style connector with a uh, serial port. We have most likely what's probably the power supply. Yep. Version 2.5 power supply. Look at the size of that brick. So it's a 100, 240 volt, 50, 60 hertz, 3 amps, 24 volt, 7.5 amp power supply. That thing's kind of heavy. What else we got here? We have. The wheel. So we can get a better view of that. There we go. So we have the wheel. Base. Anyways. This thing is not light. This is over 10 pounds, I would say. This thing is not light at all. And that's the only thing you left in that box. So what we got here is the wheel. Take a look at that. Comes with this nice carrying bag. It's almost like my my helmet bag. I got with my, my racing helmet for my go kart. Wow, they do double knot that thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that thing. It is so shiny and pretty. All covered in plastic. Make sure it stays nice. Wow, I am so excited right now. This is this thing is pure metal. This thing is absolute pure metal beauty. Yeah, I've got some force behind it. I mean, there's nothing it's smooth as it can be, though. I mean, there's no there's no wiggle in that at all. That is solid. Got the start button here, it's all aluminum. If you look inside the base, if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. Let me get light down in here. You can see inside it got two belts, all aluminum construction. Wow, that thing is awesome. I'm I'm gonna have fun with that. That is that is great. So I'm gonna set that down right there. Put that there. Let's see what let's see the next thing that's gotta go on, right? So let's see the Club Sport Universal Hub. This is the Xbox hub. Wow. This thing looks like it belongs in a race car. Look at that. That thing looks like it belongs inside a race car. It doesn't belong on my computer desk. No way. Got all kinds of buttons for anything and anything you want. What else we got? We got we got the buttons. Oh wow. That itself is heavy. That's all aluminum. There is no plastic on that at all. Everything on it is aluminum. The buttons are real clicky. Can you hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is like a real clicky button. Even the sh paddle shifters. Wow. It's got a, a nice, heavy, engaging quick connect. It's got the pins in there. Yeah, Xbox is actually a knob and a button. Oh, it's actually a joystick. Whoa. And what you can do with this is you can move these buttons anywhere you want. You can move everything around. Everything's completely movable. 
the wires inside can come unplugged and you can move it around, whatever you want to do. Then on top, there's also all the buttons you could think of. Everything for an Xbox controller is up here. Wow, you could almost do some first person shooters just on the steering wheel hub. Sorry, camera difficulties. I'm doing this all on a webcam. I haven't got my other camera set up to live stream yet. So, there's that. It comes with the bolts. It comes with all the bolts you need to mount the steering wheel. I'm gonna put this back in here just for now. I'm gonna have to put this stuff together, either on cam or off cam. I don't know. This is gonna be a lot to it. It looks like maybe a different kind of shifter paddle, maybe? I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the instructions. So let's just set that aside. Set that aside right there, just like that. Okay, let's look at the pedal. So now, let's see what the steering wheel looks like, huh? Let's see what this baby looks like. Inside a nice cover. Whoa. Can I just put this in my race car? Like, seriously, it's just like a full size, good feeling steering wheel. Look at that thing. This has got some weight to it, too. It's good, solid aluminum billet construction. No, no messing around right there. That is beautiful. I wonder if that's pleather or leather. I mean, look at that. That's just going to be, that's just going to look good. Now, I've got to get a cockpit. I'm not sure if I'm going to build one yet, or if I'm just going to watch. Now, what am I doing? I'll just set that aside right here. There's also bolts in the box for mounting the steering wheel. Got the uh, Forza steering wheel here. I'll put that right there behind it. Take a look at the shifter now. Let's look at the shifter. Got the Fanatec Club Sport shifter here. Uh, I really am imp impressed with the boxing of this stuff. Like, it's pure foam. Completely good foam, not garbage foam, not that cheap styrofoam crap, but the good squishy foam that can actually handle some impact. So we got a quick start guide. Put that in the pile with the quick start guides. We got the USB adapter. They actually came, it comes with it now. I was watching some reviews online and like they used to say you had to buy this. It was like 20 bucks. It actually comes with the USB adapter. Wow, I'm really bad at this. I need a higher camera angle. Yeah, we go. I'll just step back a little farther. So, we got the USB adapter, if you guys can see that. Comes with two kinds of knobs. You got a big knob, which is kind of light. Feels pretty light, but it's a big Big old freaking knob. I mean, I got big hands. And I can't even get my hand around that. It's a fat knob. Like, if you want a sequential shift, that is, that is the knob. That is, that's nice. All aluminum, of course. You got some bolts to mount it. You got some cables. Doesn't look very long. I, I, I'm gonna have to see about that. I guess the shift is not going to be very far away from the steering wheel anyways. Then you've got... This thing is not light. Holy crap. So I've had the Logitech in my hand and all their cool stuff. And it's all plastic. Yeah, it's like a quarter the price of this. 
but I really wasn't expecting everything to be so heavy. You know, it's like the old saying, the heavy stuff's the good stuff, right? I mean, you got seven speed shifter. I don't know if you can see that or not. Seven speed, sequential. H pattern gearbox. I mean, that feels like I'm driving a car. That feels, that feels so real. And then to put it in reverse, you gotta push it in and go to reverse. It's like a lockout in it. That's insane. Wow. And then if you want to go sequential, you got these two levers on the side right here. It says eight or sequential. It's on both sides. And you just pop it back and forth. It's real simple. You just slide that back. And then now, locked in place. Forward, reverse. And that's got some pretty good force to it. And you can change the gear knob just by screwing it. This also has the thread that you can use for any shifter you buy at AutoZone, whatever. That's got some weight to it too, that ball. And you slide this guy on there, screw it on, and now you got a handle for your sequential shift. I mean, that's, that's great. I am excited to try this thing out. This is going to be cool. I don't know. I'm a, Tonight, I'm going to try to get on the live stream. We'll try. We'll see what happens. But. Okay. Next. We've got the Club Sport pedals. The last unboxing we're going to do. And then, I don't know if I'm going to keep this on or I'm going to shut it off and play around with it. Once I get it set up, I'll start again. But let's see here, because there's a lot of stuff here i got to figure out. So we've got the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Where have I heard that before? I think it was the movie Waiting. Yeah, quick scarlet guide. Again, that real thick, squishy foam. More of that thick, squishy foam. We got in here, we got all kinds of really good packaging, really. I mean, you got some brackets here. This is taped in there. Oh, these are the pedals. I have to assemble the pedals. So those are the pedals. And there's the cables, some lithium grease. Grease. Got some lithium grease, the cables, the pedals. And we got the F in a nice shiny bag. Let's open this thing up. Oh, this one's not knotted. Up. This one's not knotted. Oh, wow. Seriously? Check this out. These pedals are 100% aluminum. There's no plastic on these things anywhere. The only plastic part is this little piece of Delrin for a stop on the clutch pedal. Like. This is seriously cool. What is in the way? There we go. Sorry about that. This is seriously cool. We've got 
brake pedal that feels like I'm pushing a brake in a car. A nice, good, springy gas pedal. And a clutch pedal that's got a cantilever on it. So it's actually got this little cantilever right here. So when you push it in, it doesn't just give you a motion, it gives you a solid push. Like it feels like you're pushing the clutch. That is cool. The brake pedal feels just like a brake. It's a load cell brake. Gas pedal feels really good. And they sell a damper for this. I didn't order the damper yet. I was going to, but I couldn't get it on Amazon. So I didn't order it. But I mean. And I'm in manufacturing, so I know what it goes to do this kind of work is a lot. So after they machine these, they send them to the anodizer. Then they bring them back and machine them again to get your cutouts, to get the stripes, to get all your little accents here. That's all done after it's anodized. So they put them back in the machine to anodize these things. I mean, these are worth every penny of the $400 I paid for it. If you look at the, man, the amount of man hours into building these, I'm really surprised this is actually a, piece, a steering wheel kit for a PC. It feels like I could just put these in my, in my car. All cable managed. Everything goes into this little box down here and just plugs in. You got a handbrake connector here on the pedals. And wow, I am extremely impressed. So we've got everything sitting here. That is it. That is everything right there. We got the pedals. We've got the hub, the shifter, the wheel, and there's the money maker right there. Fanatec version 2.5 racing wheelbase. Okay guys, I'm gonna go set this thing up. I should be back on a little later. Thank you for watching, as always. Hit that follow if you like it, hit the like button. This is also going on YouTube. You guys, peace out. This is fun. My first one. Hopefully I'll do, I'll do some more soon. And thank you. Thank you for watching.